So in this uh, short video, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing an integer by a fraction. So if you multiply an integer by a fraction, the answer is often an improper fraction, which can then be simplified. So let's just have a look at some examples, see what we're talking about. So it's something like this, 3 times 3 quarters. We're going to do 3 times 3 quarters. You can think of the 3 as 3 over 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3 after all. So we just multiply the top two numbers. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 4 is 4. And we end up with a, an answer which is 9 over 4. 9 over 4 is a top heavy fraction. So we need to convert that to a mixed number. 9 divided by 4 on the 9. 4 goes into 9 twice. And there's one left over. So the answer is 2 and a quarter. Here's the next one. Uh, work out 5 times 3 eighths, same procedure. 5 uh, times 3 eighths is the same as uh, 5 times 3, which is 15, over 8. 8 goes into 15 once, and there is 7 left over, so the answer is 1 and 7 eighths. Another one, 6 times uh, 5 over 6, well we can work it out again the same way, 6 times 5 is 30, that's over 30 over 6, 30 divided by 6, the answer is 5, and this time there is no fractional part. 7 times 5 over 14, 7 times 5 is 35, 14 into 35 goes 2 times, uh, so the answer is 2 and a half. Uh, in this example here that you can see, we've done a little bit of cancelling first of all. Um, we've seen that 7 goes into 14 twice and 7 goes into 35 five times. So sometimes it makes, makes the calculations a bit simpler if we do some cancelling. So to divide a fraction, remember that dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by 2. Similarly, dividing by 3 eighths is the same as multiplying by 8 over 3. So the rule is, if you're dividing uh, by a fraction, you invert and multiply. You tip it upside down and you just do the multiplication as we've just seen. So let's have a look at uh, a few examples. First one says work out 3 divided by 3 eighths. You can't divide by 3 eighths, you have to multiply by 8 over 3. So it becomes 3 times 8 over 3. 3 eighths are 24. 24 divided by 3, the answer is 8. Here's a second example. Work out 5 divided by 3 over 5. Again, we need to invert and multiply. So it becomes 5 times 3 over 5, uh, 5 over 3. We've inverted, so we multiply. 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 3. Uh, there are 8 threes in uh, eight threes are 24 with one left over then so it becomes eight and one third next example six divided by three over seven the rule is we invert and multiply so it becomes six times seven over three six sevens are 42 divided by three 42 divided by three is 14 and part d we're going to work out eight divided by 4 fifths, invert and multiply, becomes 8 times 5 over 4, 8 fives are 40, 40 divided by 4, the answer is 10. Okay, so let's uh, have a go at exercise 15.2c and see how you get on with those.